Hey guys, what's up? It's Shinobi Ranger here and welcome back to another episode of a Shogun 2 1v1 unit comparison series videos and today we have Excuse me, sorry Yari Ashigaru in Yari Wall stationary and braced versus Nodachi Samurai using their Banzai ability The stats for the two units should be popping up on screen anytime now so you can pause and take a look and see how the two units size up against each other So we are playing this on ultra unit scale setting on, on ultra unit scale setting the Yari Ashigaru of Samurai clans have 200 men per unit, whereas Samurai infantry have 160 men per unit. Now, since we are talking about Nodachi Samurai, the Nodachi Samurai have an ability called Banzai. So, what this Banzai ability does is, if I just go to the unit, so first things first, what Banzai does is, for the duration of the ability when it is activated, the unit becomes unbreakable. And how do you identify that it is unbreakable is, so this, okay. This is going crazy. So you see this bar here. This bar indicates the morale of the unit. So when Banzai is triggered, this is gonna go all the way to the end and this is going to turn bright green. So this means the unit is unbreakable for the duration of the effect. And what it does is it adds plus 3 to the melee attack of the unit and plus 8 to the charge bonus of the unit. Okay. So these Nodachi Samurai are shock infantry. Alright. So they have a very high attack and a very high charge. They have a high attack and they have a very high charge. They have a charge of 28 and for comparison, Yari cavalry have a lower charge compared to these Nodachi Samurai. So these Nodachi Samurai are your ultimate shock troops. If you want to use them to their maximum destructive potential, you must ensure that they always charge into the enemy unit. Okay, because they don't have good melee skills. Okay, because they are carrying a huge 200 blade which is very cumbersome, it's heavy and you can't swing a 5 foot long blade, like 4 to 5 foot long weapon effectively to protect yourself. Okay, so they are devastating on the charge and if you start, if you use them to flank enemy infantry or cavalry, they will just hard through them. Okay, so how we will go about this is, first things first, let us enable their formation. So I will have this unit march all the way somewhere till here and then have them hold still and brace for the charge. Since it's the AI we are talking about, they are by default going to enable that Banzai ability. So we'll see the change in stats for that. Okay, let's start. You head up in there. Okay, I'm pretty sure they are charging towards us. Are they walking? Are they running? Yeah, they're okay. They're running towards us. Okay. Yeah, we need to like hurry up here. Okay, they're closing the distance quickly. Wait. Pull back a wee bit. Okay. Come on. They're winded. Okay. Come on. Ah, here General we go. General is in grave danger, my okay, lord. Okay, there's the plus 3 to melee attack, plus 14. Charge bonus is 28. It's now plus 8. And see, it's unbreakable. Okay. Here we go. They'll crash into us. Okay. Okay. So one thing I did observe, he's dying. 
So one thing I did observe was I did not see that terrifying charge crashing. I mean, if they had crashed into us and the charge had connected, let me tell you, a lot of heads would be flying. They would have just cut through, cut into the first, the first line, the first two lines of men who are in direct contact, they would either be dead or their heads would have rolled around. Okay, either they are dead or their heads are around. Both cases they are dead. I understand that, but it's either they are skewered. And they are dead, like some part of their body has been impaled and run through, or they have lost their heads. So I did not see that. I did see that we broke up the charge to a certain extent, and for a certain period of time, the right, the flank held. I could see that the right flank held for a moment, for a few moments, and then they outflanked us. And since they have a very high C, one thing. They have very less melee defense. I mean, this is an XP rank one. Their base defense is one. They have the same level of armor as us. Okay, so the charge bonus is twenty-eight, as stated. Um, attack is fourteen. So that high melee attack came into picture. Okay, so if I can, okay, let let's see. Okay, so it's the right flank again. It's the right flank. They just carved through the right flank. So while we were holding, we did well. The center was also holding fairly good. And I mean, I mean, yeah, they tore a hole here as well, but it was. I mean, this was also catastrophic. Okay, this was also a pretty big concern because they tore a hole here. I mean, this is quite a hole. They chewed through the flank, but here is the major damage. So you can see here, pretty much this whole part has been torn off. So they were feeding men, and had they held further, they would have continued fighting, I suppose. But it is scary. I mean, this unit is a scary unit. So okay, let's see the damage. So one seventy six surviving. So one thirty four. Sorry, one twenty four dead, and we killed sixty five. It's one twenty four to sixty five. So that is. That is very close to two to one. Okay, it's not two to one though. It is not two to one. It is not a perfect two to one. Okay, that is very good. We brought them to two digit figures. And if you think that this is a bad exchange, remember these are aggressive shock troops. Had this been a direct head to head charge, they would have carved through the unit. Okay, this unit would be like within a few seconds. Most of the unit is either dead. Or incapacitated, and the remaining would have run away. I mean, the battle would have ended by this point of time. Okay, so for such a for facing such a fierce, aggressive unit head on, it's a very good performance. So the ratio exchange ratio is pretty close to two to one. It's not hitting that two to one mark, just a wee bit under the two to one mark. But we cost two fifty, and this unit of Murashi Samurai costs. Eight hundred, so they are like more than three times our cost. And upon that, we did very well. I mean, we brought them down to two-digit figures, so that is pretty impressive. Although ultimately we lost, it's a pretty exchange. It's a pretty respectable exchange. Okay. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, then leave a like. If you did not like the video, then leave a dislike. Share, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos when they are released. Until the next video, this is Shubhi Ranger signing out. Bye.